flow, it's Hefty Hall HQ Rolling with the crew, moving those big loads Yeah, you know how we do, we got the ring We're about to do an insane deep dive on the Trail King TK110SA, that's a slide axle Trail King Ryan's gonna assist me today. He's up there in the truck right now, turning on the wet lines, getting the lights lit up. We put the extra light package on this one, and it has some insane features. Specifically being that airlift on that first axle, which is unique to this trailer. Not many of the uh, manufacturers can do that. So let's hop around here to the controls, and I'll show you kind of through this entire thing. It's insane. Cool, he did the first thing I wanted to do, which was show you this work light. It's built right here in the back of the bulkhead. You have a switch here and they did something interesting on this so you'll see how it's momentary and I kind of realized the way they did that so you push up is on down is off up on and as many times as you push up it just stays on why they did that it's kind of equivalent to a uh, three-way switch in a house because the control panel is on both sides and so is that switch here so when you turn it off you can turn it off from both sides are either on from both sides without having to you know jump jump around back and forth and then we ordered it with the step on both sides an extra lighting package plus toolboxes that are both side mount side load and top load toolboxes that you'll be able to get into your same little area and they have a little gas shock here gas shock and you got keys so you can keep all the rascals, ne'er-do-wells, and hood rats out of your chains and binders. All right, now let's hop over here to the control panel. We'll look and see how it's accomplishing this airlift on the first axle. Plus there's an override overfill on the axle suspension. Plus we'll look at the hydraulic system on this trailer. I think first thing first, let's show them the remote control. You got a CarTech remote control, it's rechargeable. It has all your buttons on here, that way the operator can do all the operations from a safe distance. So Ryan's gonna go ahead and roll the axles forward. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna kind of mince around to the other side of the trailer. And while he's doing that, he'll start feathering it and tilting the bed up and everything. This will get you an insane six degree load angle, something right around six degrees. I don't memorize all the specs in my head, but I have them pretty close. See the strobe lights strobing in the bumper there. And this is not all the options that you can do on these trailers. This is only a portion of them. We have more of the Trail Kings. Matter of fact, I got one of the low boys right there that we're putting the neck back on it because it comes shipped with the neck on top. They'll stack these trailers coming out of North Dakota. No, South Dakota. You see he's got the bed tilting. And look at that first axle way up in the air. The point of that is so you don't have three axles on the ground all the time if you're coming back deadhead and empty. You have that first axle up, save you a ton of tires. Or if you're trying to get in a tight spot, uh, the use cases are are quite a few, but a very interesting design. And that's with a Hendrickson suspension. All right, Ryan's gonna get that Joker tilted up a little bit so we can see up under it. On these tilt cylinders, they usually have a safety feature called a counterbalance. So let's take a look up underneath. You have an e-chain here, and in a lot of different uh, industries, they'll call this a cable carrier or, or an umbilical or something. You can see where it's carrying all your electrical, air, and in some cases, including this case, it's got hydraulic lines. These being hydraulics, you got air and electrical. Blue is gonna be your electrical on this one because it's a Grody harness. You got your insane work light here. And then on this section here, you'll see it has double convoluted airbags to lift that first axle. And then over there is your suspension bags, right there. These will be deflated while these are inflated to lift first axle. Second and third will just remain kind of the same way. Plus this has your uh, Hendrix tire inflation system on an oil bath. Do not put grease in oil bath and don't put oil in grease hubcaps. It's a kind of joke across the industry. They're always asking, what will happen if I put grease in my oil bath hubs? All right, from there, Ryan's gonna tilt me down just a little bit so I can walk up the uh, deck of the trailer. Across the whole tailboard is gonna be uh, keyhole tie downs. You see they're like in an X pattern right there. And then up the side rails, as well as your center main beams, you'll have more keyhole tie downs. Access panel right here, 
full Apatong decking and you can see they take the care if you can see right in here to recess the screws with a counter with a countersink head they're not just piercing the lumber uh, exactly they're drilling that out and countersinking those which I like that little small devil in the detail feature there it has dual uh, rollers for your winch cable a little cutout right here for your you to hold your hand while you're accessing the upper deck from that step below or the, even the lower deck more keyhole tie downs and then this monster right here is the Warren 30 XL it's a 30k winch 30,000 pound capacity with this part right here which is a bit of a protection yeah it's like a winch guard they call it a winch guard sorry I'm trying to think of my words here and then this will be your cable tensioner to keep your winch cable tight as it's spooling up so it doesn't get into a big rat's nest then the airline over there will be your free spool so that way you can get your free spool done all right then from there ryan's going to go ahead and roll the axles back and let it back down and we'll take a look at the airlift on the suspension and the overfill options because they're pretty pretty standout-ish too go ahead and flip the step back up that one's easy peasy to get these axles back down so that's the operation on the hydraulic be mindful that my truck is made for a shop truck and it doesn't have the fastest hydraulics uh, the requirements on these are usually around 17 to 20 gallons a minute on the flow and around 2500 on the PS on the pressure of the PSI 2500 PSI all right so some of the other cool features you have right here are your air shift for your winch your lift axle control and then this is your override plus we're friends with the people oops I'm hitting all the buttons we're friends with the people over at airway so this is the quick load plus this will tell you exactly how much weight is on your tritums you can do that in the truck you can put it on your on your tandems or tritums on your truck you can put it on your trailer jeep booster whatever we really love those airway scales because how they're going to benefit you is they'll tell you exactly how much weight's on your tritums so now when you're in alabama and you're trying to get permits the shipper tells you it's one thing when you get to the scale house it's another when you're calling in for your permits you can go ahead and tell you they'll go ahead and tell them exactly how much weight you have on the trailer in that way because sometimes you pay per the pound on your permits so then you can be buying your permits in a more affordable way all right so we have the airlift up so this right here when you push it in it's on auto that means it's sending air straight back to your leveling valve when you pull it out it swaps you over to this valve and this will allow you to raise lower or hold so let's just show you without us touching any of it how much room is under that first axle it fits my fist under there kind of squishy and that's just reading off the leveling valve so then we'll go over oh and we can turn on the operation panel light here too so when we pull this valve out it goes to manual so when you pull this out it'll raise so it'll start to raise this back end up and ryan's going to kind of watch it right there so that way because i can already hear you in the comments it's going to skip the tires it's going to flat spot the tires and all this other stuff i don't know exactly how high i would actually raise it going down the road but not maximum if at all because it's not really going to hold you but you can see I, I get plenty of distance so if you're trying to get into a parking lot here's my fist all the way up so then back over here to the control panel once you got it where you want it you can pop it in the middle and hold it or drop it all the way down and dump it back out my recommendation is probably pop it back in the middle and put it push it back in here that's going to let it dump out the uh, leveling valve there and then in this one they added it with a bunch of extra d-rings these are usually rated what does it say on there ryan can you see they're usually 15,500 or right at 15,000. yeah so all your d-rings are rated at 15,000. that's what we know is industry standard but just making sure on that and they have d-rings all the way down that side and down here and then ryan was showing me right here where it says do not hook tie down devices to the lower lip of the side rail so it's saying don't hook them underneath but that's okay because this customer has actually bought it with all the extra d-rings and then when Ryan over there, he can hit the button and that'll drop down our first axle right here. So when you have 55 tons on there, you're going to want to have all your axles on the ground to get your maximum payload. And that's just as easy as pie. It's super cool.
Plus one of the other features that you'll see on a lot of, especially the 55 tons, would be dock, dock levelers. So to have like another piston or a cylinder that goes either here or here, or sometimes both. And what that'll allow you to do is when you get to a dock, say you're doing an inner facility move, or you're moving some company from one location to another, it'll lift up this whole tailboard to dock height. And that way you could drive off kind of stably onto a dock to get a big printing press or so forth onto the dock of the new facility that you're going to. So a huge shout out to Trail King. This trailer is absolutely insane. The engineering behind it is incredible. We love that airlift on the third axle. It would be interesting to see it on the third axle to give you a better, tighter pivoting point. Or if you had that last axle up, you could have a better swing on it. That would be cool. But overall, all the features on this trailer are absolutely amazing. Some of them we've been asked for for years. Um, if anybody liked this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. As always, I know a lot of y'all, so drop me a comment saying, Hey Gabe, how are you doing today? Plus, actually that helps the algorithm tremendously. And in reciprocation to that, as always, you already know who to call. 888-LOWBOY1. That'll get you to my team and myself here at TM Trailer Sales. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please have safe travels. And if you need me for anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Yo, it's Hefty Holler HQ. Rolling with the crew, moving those big loads. Yeah, you know how we do. We got the ribs, the power of the mic. From dawn to dusk, we own the night. Oversized loads ain't nothing but a thing. Got the trailer stretched out, feel the metal sing. Trucks on the highway, flexing the muscle. Heavy haul nation.